our dams are aging and we have to analyze them, uh, assess the stage of the uh, dams. In most of the cases when clients ask us for some reviews of these dams, the next step is to prepare some potential failure modes analysis workshops. When we like, after we review the data, we say like, these are the potential failure modes that could occur. We analyze that and further steps go along the way, but this is kind of like the timeline of the process. When you start with the first step of reviewing the data, doing that data gap analysis, there's a lot of information and some of our dams are 50, 60 plus years old. So it's inevitable that you will find information that is in paper. I like to call them artistic cross sections, very beautiful, but made by hand. Some of them are digitized, good, but with all this information, imagine a dam is not sometimes really uh, simply analyze in, in a 2D. You really have to converge all that information, uh, new and old, by the way, because yeah, you have this old, very valuable information, but you keep collating data. And while you are in the process of analyzing it, you're collecting more data. So that's why I think the, the problem starts with analyzing all this large amount of data. To improve dam safety evaluations using uh, 3D subsurface modeling, we are trying to it convey the idea that if you merge all your information together in a 3D model block, you will be able to assess better data gaps, meaning there's a bunch of information here, but you're missing at this depth, at this location, this information. So let's, let's drill a hole there. If you, if you move to another location and, and you think, well, now I have enough information, but it happens that it's in a steep slope. We, that we didn't catch probably before by looking at several to these cross sections. Having everything in one place that consistently show you all what you have analyzed separately uh, allows you to make better decisions.